Fractions, decimals and percentages can all seem like very different things and I understand it can be difficult to convert between the three of them. In my opinion, the best way to treat them is by using the one thing they all have in common. They can all be looked at as a proportion of 100 or out of 100. So percentages are easy to see this because, for example, 50% is just 50 out of 100 because 100% is the maximum you can get. Fractions can actually be altered so that their denominator is 100, so they look like they're out of 100. So 1 over 2 or a half, if we make that bottom number 100, then this top number is going to become 50, and exactly the same as the percentage. 0 0.5, so here is slightly different, um, but you can imagine 0 0.5 can be written as 0 0.50, and this is looked at as out of 1. Because with decimals, rather than 100, we do it out of 1. But ultimately, you can see it is basically the same again. So by converting them like this, it makes it a lot easier to see. So we're going to look at a table. And we basically have to fill in the missing values. This is a very common GCSE type question to get. So again, very important that you understand what you're doing. So fractions, the first one we have is a half. And just like the example before, if we make that equal to 50 over 100, we know that we can write this as a decimal as 0 0.50 or 0 0.5, doesn't really matter. And a percentage is just going to be 50%. Now, if you look at the second row, the similarity between the two decimals here is it's virtually the same, just with a different number. So we have 2 rather than a 5. So if we were to do the percentage, you can see the relationship between decimals and percentages in the first row this is actually going to be exactly the same. So 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 is just going to be 20%. And again, on the other side, on the fractions, we can just write this as 20 over 100. And eventually, we simplify this down. If we divide it by 10, because we can here, we have 2 over 10. And because they're both even numbers, we can divide this by 2. So ultimately, going to go down to a fifth. Third row. So 4 over 5 is slightly more tricky to do. So in the space we have below, let's write 4 over 5. And again, just like I explained in the first place, we want to get our denominator to 100 and then see what we do from there. So again, the very common phrase with fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. What have we done to get from 5 to 100? Again, might not be too obvious at the start, but with practice and with a bit of thinking, we have times that 5 by 20 to get to 100. So that's exactly what we have to do to the top number, the 4. So 4 times 20 gets us 80. So this fraction here can be rewritten as 80 over 100. Now that is very useful because just like the other two rows we've already done, we can simply just convert them across because it's going to be 0 0.8 or 0 0.80 and 80%. So nothing too difficult there. So let's take a look at our final row, 45%. Now if you take a look at the other percentages to decimal conversions, it is simply the number that the percentage is just put after the decimal. So 45%, we're just going to get 0 0.45. Now the fraction, we can just simply write this again as 45 over 100. And it's just a matter of simplifying it to get it in its simplest form. Now, 45 and 100 can both be divided by 5. Again, this might not be too obvious at the start if you're new to this kind of stuff, but with practice, this becomes a bit more apparent. So if we divide both of these by 5, we learnt before that 100 divided by 5 is 20, and 45 divided by 5 is going to give us 9, and that is going to be our final answer here. So 9 over 20. So you can see we've gone from something as simple as a half all the way up to 4 fifths and 45%, and we've converted that between all three. So I hope this video helped and thank you very much.